hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to make a simple uh, login page with the help of your jsf web application so till now what we have is when i run the program in the last five videos what i have made is I have set the background I can go to the next page by clicking this button I can submit any text and it transfers it to the next page and I in the last video I have shown you how to use Ajax so that page doesn't refresh but here the text refreshes right now in this video uh, I will clean some of the code which I don't need and we will make a simple login page so let's do it so this Ajax code I have shown you in the last video I'm going to delete it because in this video it's not required and this navigation to the second page also we don't require so we have this image right now and we have this uh, input text and command button so this code I have shown you in the fourth video when I show you how to use managed bean and this code I have shown you in the third video I think when I showed you how to set background image and foreground images so I little bit cleaned my code and now when I run the program it has this submit button this text box and this image and when I click this button it goes to the second page and it shows some output whatever I enter inside this box it shows here okay this also I don't want I I don't want to show this whatever I text show this enter text here I don't want to show here but I want to show if I enter some name here name for example and this when I click this button it validates the name and it show it will show the output whether my name is correct so for example I enter the right name and right password it sh shows me the message that your username and password is correct otherwise it will show me the error message so let's see how can I do this so in the second page okay so in the third uh, for I think in the fourth video I have shown you this user dot Java class and in this user dot Java class I have this instance string instance and I have made the getter and setter method of this instance right in the user class so if you don't know how can how did I made this uh, user dot cla Java class uh, and how I set this name instance inside and get a setter then you can go to the fourth video and see how I use that now with this uh, name I will also declare one more string called password for password so I will write string password okay and in the same way what I have used for this name I will set the getter and setter method for this password so I will right click and then I will click insert code and then I will choose setter and get getter and setter and I will click this user and password okay and I will click generate and it will generate the getter setter method for my password also so I have name 
I have get a set the method for name and I have password and I have get a set a method for password. I will declare one more string for uh, showing the message. So I will write private string and this is the for example output msg this is the variable name so this is the output message variable and for this I will create a getter method so I will just right click it insert code getter and I will just click this and I will generate this getter method okay so I have pa name password and output message and for output uh, I have getter and for name and password I have getter and setter method now what you do is inside this user class we will make a function so just go below here so you don't need to go outside this class just inside this class we will make a method so here we will make a method called public void and let's say this method as login okay and just this bracket and bracket closed and inside this method we will declare a condition what condition if your name dot equals some name so you can give any name to validate your name so for example I give uh, name itself so when I enter name in my text box it should validate uh, this name and then what I will do is if this is equal to name then I will set my this output message as equal to user name is correct okay the same condition I can define for password also so when my username or name and password is correct so I will in this if bracket I will also provide and password dot equals and inside this let's say my password should be password itself okay so these are the values which we will validate so you can give these value any value according to your convenience so you will write username and pass word is correct okay otherwise you can give uh, else if and bracket and bracket close else if name dot equals nothing null or sorry or or we can define and condition here once again password dot equals
null then we will show the message output message same 